No more ifs or perhaps. It's now set in stone. Pyongyang will be a part of next month's Winter Olympic Games in South Korea. Let's get some updates on the size of the delegation from up north, what events the athletes are likely to compete in, and the process involved in ensuring their participation. Won jong Hwan has the details. During the high-level talks between the two Koreas at Panmunjom on Tuesday, North Korea expressed an interest in sending around 20 athletes and related staff members to the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics. According to a senior staff member at the Korean Sports and Olympic Committee, the ratio between athletes and staff members such as coaches for the Winter Games is normally around one staff member per athlete, suggesting that North Korea could send a team of 10 athletes and 10 related staff members to PyeongChang next month. But the final decision on the size of the North Korean team will depend on how many wildcards are provided by the International Olympics Committee. Currently, the only North Korean athletes who have successfully qualified for PyeongChang 2018 are the figure skating duo of Ryeom Deok and Kim Jushik. But even they are not guaranteed a ticket to PyeongChang as they lost their spots after failing to register by the participation deadline. However, hopes are high as the IOC on Monday extended the deadline for the registration of North Korean athletes for the Games. And with the special places offered by the IOC's wildcard, Pyongyang's strong short track speed skating and women's ice hockey teams could all be competing at the Winter Games next month. The final decision will be come on January 20th when the IOC hosts talks in Lausanne, Switzerland, to discuss North Korea's participation at Pyeongchang 2018. Ahead of the meeting in Lausanne, the Ministry of Unification said on Thursday that South and North Korea will likely hold working-level talks on the North's participation in the Winter Olympics. Won Jong-un, Arirang News.